excuse me, this is a uh, video to uh, show you how to reflash the, your Eon in Windows 10. Uh, there's a lot of information on using Linux or Unix, um, but um, for Windows 10 users, we don't have some of the same tools, so I've kind of outlined how I do it on um, Windows. So, uh, first things first, if you bricked your Eon and you can't SSH into it, first try doing a factory reset. Uh, I didn't realize this, but uh, if you um, hold the um, volume up button and the power button after power cycling, um, there will be a res uh, reset screen and there, there's an actual um, link uh, to how to do that. Depending on what um, type of Eon you have, uh, sometimes you have to hold the volume down and power buttons. But the one thing that I I uh, found was uh, you have to power you have to uh, reboot the Eon, and while it's rebooting, hold the volume up and power button. Um, on my Gold Eon, it uh, it will not go into uh, factory. It'll just it won't do anything <laughs> if the Eon is on and you hold the volume up and power buttons. It just doesn't do it. So I originally uh, did a factory reset when I should have. I mean, I did a flash uh, when I could have just probably most of the time just fixed your problem with the factory reset. Uh, okay, so anyhow, uh, if you have to flash, like if you want to downgrade your Eon, um, then uh, then you need to have uh, installed on your Windows box Python, Git, uh, the software control, and uh, the Android platform tools. These are all free, uh, and you can download them. So here's Python. Just you know, Google search for Python for Windows download, and here's the Git Windows um, tool to get the source code. Uh, you, it's not, you don't really need to get the source code, but I, I just, I'm just sort of being complete here. Uh, and then, um, and then the, uh, go to Android and, or search for the, uh, Android, uh, platform, um, tools for Windows SDK. Um, and then you can download this for Windows. And once you get all that, um, all right, I I deleted everything. I I did a little test before I I uh, went here. Okay, so once you get all that, uh, get get the project from Git Git uh, GitHub. So in the uh, let's just start at the beginning here. So their project is called uh, from if you go to the GitHub uh, comma AI main page, I guess, you go to the uh, e Eon Neos. <clears throat> okay, it's a little slow. Okay, so get the, uh, 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 this is just the, um, the clone web address. Copy it to your clipboard, and then, sorry, okay, so then you can use, once you've installed git, you say git clone uh, the project, okay, and you should have a Eon Neos project, and uh, read the readme, uh, and I'm just kind of kind of go quickly here, but uh, you want to first run download and then run flash, but this is for, like I said, Linux or, or Ubuntu or whatever. I don't know which one they use, uh, to be honest with you. But uh, uh, we're going to just inspect these and then just, actually you can run the download pi. I was going to show you how to do that because we've installed Python, but um, the flash is a shell script and uh, we don't you know, you're going to have to just manually run it. It's pretty easy, so don't, uh, it sounds harder than, I'm. you know, once you see it, it's pretty easy. 
And there's only one other tool, which uh, you're supposed to convert the image files after you download them to a sparse image using this tool. Uh, but it's not easily available. There are some links to some pre-compiled versions from various sources where I don't know where they get it. And they don't sound uh, like they're from Google. So I don't, I just didn't use it. And it, I believe the fast boot on Windows creates a sparse image on the fly. So I'll show that. And you need the fast boot tool, which is from the uh, Android uh, platform tools SDK. So when you install that, it'll, it'll, unz it'll have a folder with the, this tool. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is look at the, the download pie. Uh, so open it up, download pie, and I already have it up. Uh, in fact, I might've already modified it. Uh, no, I, I just got it again. Okay, so, um, so you can run uh, this almost as is. The only problem is this command here um, is calling remove uh, file name and create a um, uh, create a link from fn to file to file final name and uh, so the fix is to comment out that line and add a delete and um, copy. So the copy uh, is like a link, um, but it's actually just a separate copy. You can use mklink to make a symbolic link, but uh, it's kind of like not necessary. Uh, and in Python, make sure you all your, uh, ooh, did I? Yeah, okay, yeah. Uh, make sure your, your tab, your, uh, Everything lines up because that's how it keys off where where you're at. Okay, so uh, delete is rm and copy is is going to make a link, which is actually just a copy. Okay, so then you can save that and run it. Down, oh, uh, Python download pi, and this is uh, downloading it. Uh, a zip and um, a tiny uh, um, a recovery image is small. But the uh, the zip uh, which has the um, system uh, is um, is quite large. It's zipped, and then when you unzip it, it gets it gets even larger. Okay, and uh, the other nice thing about this script is it does a hash check. So uh, so it says pass, so that's great. Uh, so that means it downloaded without corruption. All right. So the next thing is run the flash. And I've kind of tested this out before, but I'm gonna pretend like I didn't have it open. Flash dot sh. This is a shell script for, for Unix, but it doesn't Linux, and it doesn't, have uh, I'm not. Uh, you could try to make this a batch file, but it, it it's pretty simple. You unzip the file, and like I said, uh, you're supposed to convert it to a sparse image here, and then fast boot the system image uh, with the sparse image, which will um, um, save. Uh, it's much smaller, but like I said, I believe the fast boot on Windows does this uh, for you, so you don't have to. Uh, we don't, I don't, I don't use the tool now. I've been told that you should do this, but like I said, I don't think you need it, or at least I haven't used it. Uh, your mileage may vary. <laughs> so uh, let's just start from the top. Unzip the uh, OTA latest zip. Um, you can just use the file explorer, but um, you can also use PowerShell to unzip the, the file. So I'm going to do that here. <sighs> And it will unzip slowly. My computer's not that great. Okay. Okay. So um, the 
I already kind of know it. It has the uh, files directory, it unzipped, and the meta in in if directory. But we just need the boot image and system image in your file in the files directory. Okay, so if we look at the next thing we want to do, we're gonna skip this uh, making the sparse image, and um, we're gonna use Fastboot, which is part of the Android platform SDK, and I installed it on my C drive. Uh, so there it is, fastboot.exe. Fastboot. No command. Okay, so anyways, back to my E drive where all my stuff is. Okay, so if you do fastboot devices, it didn't work. Uh, fastboot devices, uh, you should see some hex value and uh, fastboot. Uh, if you don't have it in fastboot mode, uh, I, I just removed my Eon. Uh, it doesn't show anything, so that that just tells you that you're connect connected and it's in fast boot mode. And I took a picture of oh, maybe not. Uh, I took a picture of my Eon, and this is what you should see when you um, hold the power up, the volume up and power button after rebooting. It should go into fast boot mode, and it should show this. And you just plug it into your Windows PC. Okay, so now that you got fast boot up, you can just follow these commands. Now these commands don't actually work, um, but um, I think maybe it's for certain versions of the Eon. I don't know, but um, uh, I always run them, even though. Oh, sorry. Damn it. Uh, and it says unknown command, uh, so. It just doesn't like it, so I just uh, I just run it, and, it's, and this happened every time, uh, and it doesn't um, seem to affect it. Now the next one is the recovery image, and there it is. So we'll do fast boot flash. Make sure I use the right. Drive letter, uh, recovery, recovery image. Okay. Uh, what the hell? Recovery.ng. Fast boot flash. Oh, sorry. Recovery. Okay, so. Er Every time you do flash, you have to give it like the uh, the part the partition, uh, and there you go. Okay, so uh, there you go. Flash boot, flash recovery, recovery image. Okay, so it's finished. Next, uh, the next one is flash. There's no logo file, so I always skip this this line here. Um, there's no logo. Um, I don't know where you get it, so I just skipped it. Never seemed to be a problem. I guess if the logo was corrupted. This could be a problem, but I don't have a logo. So it doesn't come with the zip. So the next one is flash boot the boot. So let's uh, flash boot and then files boot dot image. Okay, and the next one is. Um, System. This is the one that you're supposed to use a sparse image, uh, but uh, damn it, We're... I lied. We're files. Uh, system image. Yeah. Flash boot. System. Files. System. I don't know why it doesn't work. Okay. Anyway, system. System, okay, here we go. So it says invalid sparse file at header magic. Uh, that is normal. And then you see here it says sending sparse system. So it broke it up into four chunks or something. Oops. And um, it's sending it.
Okay, there you go. So, 101 seconds for that last one. Okay, but um, it says finished total right time, blah, 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 193 seconds. Okay, so now we'll... Uh, now we'll do the um, erase. Let's see, fast boot. Okay. Uh, it says, "Did you mean to?" I don't know. It didn't really ask me yes or no, so I already did it. So it's done. Fast. Boot base. Oh, sorry. Format cache. Okay, it's formatting cache. And then, okay, that's it. So, uh, fast boot, um, reboot. This will reboot your Eon. Hopefully, if everything went well, uh, your Eon will boot to the new version. I've done this now like three times, so it's worked every time, but um, like I said, I, I used um, the platform tools. And one thing that I uh, would like to say is, um, like, I don't know if there's different versions of fast boot. Maybe this is a newer version. Make sure you you know you get the latest and greatest. But I did notice this size here it breaks. You know, it sort of gives you a clue that this fast boot will support uh, uh, support converting your your image to sparse. So you don't need you can skip the. Um, You can skip the uh, this part of the shell script. All right. Well, hopefully that helps somebody. Have a good night.